Good day. Uh, dear colleagues, it's a pleasure to meet you here face-to-face. Uh, -face. And on behalf of our group of, uh, of my colleagues, uh, uh, we will present today the... Oh, I, I actually constructed uh, our, uh, our presentation in the form of a review of what we've done for, so far for these two years that we haven't met uh, with you. So uh, that's why it's, it won't be so focused, but it will be rather an overview of what uh, monitoring um, activities and what results we, uh, we have obtained uh, from the Russian part of the Gulf of Finland um, during the last years. So uh, our university, Russian State Hydrometeorological University, uh, conducted, or we started this uh, the, to work on marine litter microplastics in uh, 2017, and since then we've, I think we, uh, we've uh, got some results. Uh, first of all, we uh, started with monitoring of the coast of the aquatic environment of the Neva Bay, but we actually even moved further. During these two, uh, two years, we are now also having another part of our research, a uh, very like, major part of our uh, research work uh, is connected to the Russian Arctic and the Far Eastern Seas, so uh, all the methods, uh, especially what comes to uh, the mon uh, microplastics research in, in the water and seawater, now we are adapting these me methodologies and um, searching for microplastics in the Russian Arctic. Uh, and uh, during these uh, years, we have um, organized a specialized laboratory uh, on plastic pollution research where uh, the major, I would say, workforce is uh, the young scientists and students. So I'm the leader of this uh, laboratory, but of course, all this work that I will present today, uh, it's all, well, most of this work uh, wouldn't be possible without the uh, so many volunteers and students that are uh, that have been working and are uh, working um, in our university in this lab. Uh, so uh, yes, during this time we um, uh, worked on the development of observation techniques. We uh, we are developing and adapt adapting some laboratory analysis and uh, of the international experience to our uh, conditions of the uh, brackish waters, of the eutrophied waters, of the freezing waters, so there are many limiting factors. Uh, and we uh, made new sampling devices and also we are working, uh, worked on intercalibration of methods with our colleagues, uh, not only from, the, uh, from Suke, uh, and this work will be presented later by our Finnish colleagues, but also we are uh, working closely with the Russian uh, institutes because of the pandemic. We cannot really collaborate, it's really limit, uh, limiting our uh, collaboration efforts uh, abroad, uh, but uh, we took advantage of this maybe, <laughs> I would say, and we uh, worked closely uh, these uh, years and are working uh, with national uh, uh, scientific institutions. Uh, so we will uh, we are uh, we're focusing on two fractions. I must say that uh, you have to distinguish because uh, we are monitoring the large microplastics, which is uh, larger than one millimeter, which is visually detec detectable. This is the microplastics in the sand and the beach sand, and also we are working with microplastics in the water, which is uh, the real, I must say, the true microplastics, which is uh, only detectable by the special uh, special instruments. Uh, and uh, as I said, we started with the Neva estuary, uh, started our studies uh, with uh, uh, beach sand samplings uh, to identify the hot spots of its accumulation, so uh, of uh, plastics of litter accumulation in the Neva Bay, to, uh, and also to, like, to make a database and to, to define the basis for the mathematical modeling of the distribution of microparticles in, in the Gulf of Finland. And the methodologies that we used. Uh, uh, these are, uh, first of all, the two methods for sandy coasts, for sandy beaches. Uh, then we also uh, worked on the uh, water sampling and uh, made our own uh, filtering device, which is patented now. This is working with it and uh, its construction and the model and uh, the, the Recently, it was patented, and also we are working with the uh, with the samplers uh, for the vessels. Uh, so also developed the method for working in uh, flow through system uh, in uh, in the vessel. 
uh, our also major part of our work was on uh, uh, analyzing and trying different methods, laboratory methods, and uh, during this time we not only, uh, uh, of course, used the microscopy methods, but uh, we worked with Raman and uh, also with the pyrolysis gas chromatography and mass spectrometer methods. And um, if uh, so, beach litter monitoring uh, it was based on these two two methods for large microplastics. And you can see here the various uh, mm, pictures of how how it, how it looks in summer in in the Neva Bay. And uh, the top litter items in the Neva Bay are here, and you can see that um, they're quite diverse. Uh, but as you can see further, they are uh, they, in, in a way, uh, differ from other parts of the Baltic. Sorry. So these are pellets, uh, one of those two top litter items, uh, the primary microplastics that is made for producing some, some goods afterwards, like, like bags or some, some, some other things. Uh, a lot of synthetic napkins, etc., and also the cotton swabs uh, that people use uh, somehow flush down the toilet, and they shouldn't do that, of course. And uh, when it comes to the uh, the Baltic. Uh, this is the uh, paper that we, uh, well, our colleagues uh, on behalf of our research group just submitted. Uh, you can see that uh, the yellow is uh, artificial polymers. So mostly, at least half of the litter on the beaches of the Baltic uh, is composed uh, of artificial polymers. And red is uh, cigarette butts. So you can see here how many people do smoke on the beaches in the Baltic. And uh, of course, uh, well, uh, there, there are uh, beaches where uh, there are more smokers and, we, we, and where almost no smokers. So uh, not much in the Neva Bay, but mostly uh, cigarette butts in the uh, Lithuanian and Polish coast and German as well. Uh, but uh, when it comes to the Neva Bay, what a major result that we found that uh, most of the accumulation of the uh, microliter happens in the Neva Bay, it's, uh, Bay itself, so the dam doesn't really allow it to uh, move, uh, to, for microplastics move further. Uh, we did some modeling experiments that also uh, showed the dis um, distribution of microparticles particle in, the, in the bay. Uh, and. Um, also, in the, when it comes to uh, measurements in the water, microplastics in the water, we also see that there is a trend that most of the uh, plastics, uh, microparticles in the water, they tend to uh, accumulate in the eastern, no, in the northern, uh, near the northern coast of the Neva Bay. Uh, but when we compare different years, uh, there are some uh, things that have to be taken into account, and uh, we still uh, we can say that there is a need for much further studies, uh, for further research. Uh, they need to be much um, well, they kind of one once a year is not enough to make uh, the samplings. The measuring unit is also very uh, important to take into account because you can see here there is an, on the right graph that if you take the weight and if you take the amounts so in, in pieces, you get a totally different result sometimes because uh, the plastic is much lighter than metal, etc., and the glass. So you have to combine the units and it's very important to when you do the monitoring. Um, uh, well, yes. Also, when we compared the uh, the water and the sand, um, got some interesting, <coughs> well, I would say, uh, trend as well. That uh, again, our uh, theory of accumulation in the northern part of the Neva Bay is confirmed. Uh, and what about the harmonization of methods? This is, this is a very important uh, question that we would like to stress, uh, because uh, this work in the Neva Bay was also carried out by our colleagues from the Institute of Linology that, will, uh, that are presenting their work on the, on the poster. And uh, we can, uh, on the left is our uh, measurements uh, in the water and in the sand uh, done parallel in parallel last year. We did, did it in one day, uh, just especially that so that uh, the conditions would be the same. And we got more or less consistent uh, picture. But when it comes to comparison of uh, 
different institutions. So we did uh, the same uh, microplastic sampling in water with more or less the same methods, but uh, in different time, you see that they totally uh, differ. And uh, that doesn't mean that any that one of the methods is wrong. It's just a very dynamic uh, picture of um, dynamic, dynamic uh, character of distribution of microplastics. Um, and uh, so if you want to read further about, about our research, we published some of the uh, papers uh, during this uh, time, and one is to come. Also, we developed a study course, which is also a very good outcome of this project that we finalized uh, this year, that we uh, developed a study course in Russian. Uh, it's now in, introduced in the curriculum of our university, and the uh, textbook is now and it's a uh, finishing st uh, step of uh, publication. Uh, and also, yes, here the students, you see that all the photos they contain, I mean, pictures of students, of course, those who actually made this uh, work happen during these years. And some conclusions and recommendations. First of all, of course, uh, the methodological approaches must be harmonized, not between, not in just one institution, but between the institutions, because there are so many limitations, and the de the character of the distribution of microplastics in in the, in, in water, especially, is so dynamic. Uh, the we, uh, however, um, managed to see the hotspots of accumulation of microplastics in the Neva Bay, in the Gulf of Finland, and now our database comprises over 1,400 1, units of measurements uh, for these years. Uh, there is a lot of questions about the sources of this uh, uh, microplastics because this could be treatment facilities but, and some untreated waste waters and other, other sources. This is something more to study and to, to find out. Um, also, there is not much information about the tributaries, uh, about the Neva River itself, so the, in the entire water column, so more re research to come. And... Um, of course, in order to develop the scientifically based measure, uh, measures for the management of the sources and for the recommendations for the decision makers, it's necessary to have the same-time monitoring on the, based on the unified methodological approach. This is actually the main uh, idea of our uh, intercalibration um, uh, efforts uh, that we are having now with our Estonian and Finnish colleagues. And of course, we have to work with the society because, as you can see, the most of the uh, plastic is uh, comes from the household, from the hygienic uh, products. Uh, and our proposals for because our forum today is called the new start of new or new cooperation. Hopefully, it will uh, really start for in this topic too. I mean, it will. It's already happening, but the new uh, cycle of it. Yes. Uh, so the efforts should be. I focused on harmonization of the sampling methods because there are so many different methods and uh, different research themes. Uh, research groups uh, use uh, various uh, sampling methods. Uh, the, uh, the same goes for lab analysis. Um, uh, must be unification. So the joint intercalibration of monetary methods should be done not only for water sampling, this, which is now actually almost completed for our teams, but also for the beach monitoring, uh, which is uh, uh, not not well not. I mean, it's it's, it's the question for for the future, I think. Also regarding the modeling of microplastics in the water, we think and we propose that we have to study the microplastic properties changes under the influence of biogeochemical processes based on the eco-hydrodynamic models. Uh, and also the educational courses and programs and maybe well, filtering trainings, etc. Uh, could be also the, the, the topic for cooperation because a lot of uh, young scientists and students are uh, volunteering for this work and they are uh, really happy to take part in this work uh, and to work because they, they, they want to change the, the situation. Thank you. I think that this is it. Thank, thank you very much, Alexander.